Yes, thank you very much, Adam, for giving us the floor. We are now in a bit un unfortunate position that we, after these very inspirational stories and examples of very concrete social and, and eco-technological eco examples, we have now to take you back on a journey to a somewhat more dry topic, um, policy recommendations. The good thing is that this, our in intervention was planned right before the coffee break, so if this doesn't work as an eye-opener, maybe the good coffee does. Um, and also, as we term this presentation a roadmap, so what we're going to do is, is not only focus on the policy recommendations as such, but also talk about the process, how we came uh, to, to, to develop these uh, recommendations. So uh, the outline shortly, I will, we will shortly introduce why we need policy, rec uh, how we perceive pol policy recommendations, why we think that they are important. Um, then also that we came uh, while developing these recommendations, we also came to the to, to the conclusion together with uh, other partners that it it makes sense to to distinguish between EU level and, and national level recommendations, and we tell you why this is the case. Uh, then we talk about the process of of how we jointly identified EU level recommendations. Uh, then we come to some examples of policy recommendations. Um, also list country specific re recommendations that were also part of the of, of the process, and then. Uh, again, close up with uh, the content of the policy recommendations document that we are going to uh, finish uh, during this, these weeks. So, as, as Adam has uh, said in, in the introduction, uh, the, the uh, formulation of these policy recommendations uh, are one of the core outputs of this Ecovillages pro project and uh, should also uh, contribute to the facilitation of the development of Ecovillages in the BSR regions. And uh, the actual process uh, as such started uh, mainly in, in 2012 uh, within the framework of, of uh, national network meetings where all partners uh, uh, together with uh, different sca stakeholders um, developed ideas uh, or, or like crystallized what are the main uh, uh, driving uh, or the main problems that, that we face in developing eco-villages. Uh, and then it was a very like um, collaborative process after that together with uh, project partners and as associate and project partners to dis discuss and crystallize the, 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 uh, the very policy recommendations as such. So how uh, our aim was to basically as uh, to, to what, we, what we will produce is, uh, is a set uh, of policy recommendations that are uh, very condensed, that are scientifically based on the empirical results of this study, uh, as well as uh, importantly, they need to be de democratically deliberated among the partners and among stakeholders, among the very people that are uh, that, that are affected by the by the um, um, potential reforms that these policy re recommendations may bring about. So they need to be sensitive to social, economic, and technological development needs of eco villages in the region. Uh, also, importantly, ideally, then uh, uh, they should help. Uh, um, uh, uh, driving rural development policy forwards by, by, by tailor tailoring rural development policy tools uh, uh, to be more uh, sensitive to, to eco-villages needs and overall as, as, as a kind of a, uh, additional aim also uh, as, as the other previous presenters talked about the, the manuals that were introduced they should also help uh, to, to, to increase the impact and the potential of the manuals as, as, as the other core out outputs of this project. So we heard uh, many good uh, social, cultural, and, and uh, technological examples uh, during, the, during the first part of, of this afternoon. And, um, and what, what we can see is that the, the application of them and the spreading of these solutions and innovations that are tailored in eco-villages are, uh, are, face, uh, are face obstacles and rigidities in, in, uh, in, in different forms. And this policy recommendation should, should remove or at least alleviate uh, these obstacles that are mainly related to policy. So uh, there are many problems uh, existing in, t in terms of legislation. Uh, we have uh, problems in terms of transnational, national, local regulations and practices, and also uh, um, uh, very simply then also in terms of knowledge sharing and, and coordination between authorities. And this is another, another issue that should be tackled by these policy recommendations. Um, and then, uh, yes, uh, and then, then, then many good examples that we heard, this eco-technology practices, social innovations that were doc documented in the manuals, uh, so their, their adoption, utilization, and also the further development needs, needs, needs support through policy recommendations as such. So, um, so what we did, I mentioned 2012, so that there was this uh, the national network meetings where, where, uh, uh, where partners uh, met with uh, different stakeholders from the eco-village communities 
and um, then there were documents uh, developed uh, that were then screened by, by, by the leaders of the, of the work package three, which, uh, which is uh, dealing with the technologies and, and practices, and then the, uh, work package four, which deals with uh, social issues in eco-villages. So we screened these, these national recommendations uh, that, that this uh, project partner sent us, um, and then we tried to, to organize these recommendations. Uh, according to the common themes that we can find, country-specific issues, and then also uh, according to policy levels that, that might be addressed. And we found a number of common issues, uh, and Jarko will talk about these issues a, a little bit later in a minute. Uh, and we thought that these, these common issues that, that come up uh, uh, in this, in this in all partners' documents, they, they would be the best candidates for EU-level policy recommendations. And then the other themes, uh, they, we thought that they were seemingly more the subject for national policy and, and decision-making levels. And, and, um, and national, uh, importantly, as we understood and uh, as, as uh, Maxi also referred to, so we should see this as in a multi-level fashion also. So central governments of the, of the BSR member states, the regional level and municipalities in that sense. So these, these uh, common issues then in the, in the name of the project uh, uh, that we identified, uh, we, we de developed them further and, and they should be finally addressed at various EU institutions and uh, then we wanted to propose a set of high priority EU level recommendations. So to summarize again what I just said is so the identification of these core common themes uh, is uh, are, are suitably best addressed at, at various EU institutions. And uh, for that we, we use the metrics, and, and Jarko will come to talk about this also, that we developed together with the social uh, uh, work package leader on, on social, uh, social issues, uh, together with us who were responsible for the eco-technology issues. Um, so uh, then we formulated policy recommendations propositions with the help of the recommendation list provided by all project partners, and then also finally identified potential addresses at the EU level, but I think we also would uh, need your, your help in that in order to feed in and, and create more, 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 uh, more weight to, to the policy recommendations, help, help you, uh, help us to feed in the, the policy recommendations to, to, right, to the right addresses. So, um, so these national re level recommendations, so both in substance but also in relation to addressee, I think we, we would leave this up to, to, to the project partners to, to also uh, be active here and send them to the to, to the right people, but also pr probably with the help of of the of the uh, of Maxi's uh, office. And um, but then also what 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 we thought is like although these these are more more nationally uh, important in a, at an, in a national level, they also uh, help to identify or benchmark and learn from from uh, from experience that were mentioned by by uh, other uh, partner countries. And uh, also, as, as there was a lot of work involved, we also will list them in the, in the final policy recommendations documents. They will be annexed and they will be also analyzed so that they will not be lost, so that we have uh, the, the final document that we have. Also, the country spe specific recommendations will be uh, included in the, in, the, uh, in the final policy recommendations document. Yes, and then I think I changed for a while to Jarko and talks about the substance. Switch on the move. So, uh, <clears throat> quickly about the, the deliberation uh, process, uh, the way that uh, we ended up in formulating these, uh, these six core themes that currently stand as, as the propositions uh, for, the, for the recommendations to be, to be presented uh, to decision makers. So, what we, what we did, uh, as, as Mihail already told, um, uh, we got feedback from uh, all project, pro project partner countries uh, and their stakeholders. So we, we aimed at gathering opinions from, from a broad group of actors from each country. And then in May uh, uh, 2013, we arranged a, a world cafe uh, uh, among the project participants where we discussed these six tentative policy recommendation the themes. And we, we had uh, uh, six, six groups so that each uh, participant could uh, uh, attend in each table to discuss the topic and deliberate uh, on the re relevance of the uh, suggested uh, policy recommendation topic. Uh, comment on, on potential important uh, sub-themes under, under the core theme and uh, 
come up with justifications for the po important uh, sub sub themes also and uh, then we also uh, discussed that who could be the the relevant addresses at at the EU level uh, to whom these recommendations could be could be addressed and as you see uh, we had six six themes uh, six core themes so uh, uh, energy issues uh, were, were uh, really crucial in in all countries uh, as were issues related to land use land use planning and uh, building regulation issues uh, then also uh, public funding and support uh, is is uh, one important EU level issue that uh, affects also uh, basically all all countries and is an important theme uh, then uh, as as Kalle told about uh, uh, various new uh, business models and also social organizational models uh, that uh, Eco villages face. Then it's about uh, fifth as fifth theme is uh, issues related to education, training, uh, information dissemination, and as sixth uh, point, there's issues that deal with uh, research and research and development issues. So uh, especially uh, on a general level, as they relate to, to eco-living and alternative food production. So, um, uh, after the discussions uh, we had on these, these themes, uh, the comments uh, were then, then harvested uh, and, and presented and discussed among uh, all, all meeting participants. And uh, after this meeting, uh, the work package leaders summed up the discussions and uh, arranged the, the, the comments into, into potential core themes and sub-themes. So on the basis of this, this uh, uh, discussion among the uh, partners and associated partners, we had a sort of like indication that these, these uh, six themes, they were, were considered relevant and didn't raise any, any major criticism or, or uh, opposition. And finally, we're going to uh, show you a couple of examples of, of, uh, of the themes that how they might look like in the report. And I'm not going to frustrate you with going all through this de these details, but just merely to, to illustrate that uh, the, the core theme that is uh, about research and development activities and it's, it's increasing its uh, impact. Uh, we have here now three sub-themes that uh, deal with the links of, of uh, eco-villages, ecological initiatives, and how universities and research and development community could recognize better the, the developments and innovations that are being, being developed by, by eco-villages, and sort of to tighten the collaboration. And then Mihail will continue with, with uh, wrapping up the thing. Yes. yes, before wrapping up, another example. Also, this is very dense, and you see that in the, when the document is out, it's much more reader-friendly, so to say. But also the logic here to, to show you, in a way, the structure that we, we start, or that, that basically the, the, the main consideration here, and that's similar to what I think uh, Ina said, so we should see the, the, uh, the eco-villages as some kind of islands that are also have an impact or that could also uh, um, like foster the development of the surrounding areas where they are embedded in. So this is very important, so eco-villages in the wider fabric of the rural areas have a positive impact on the social co development of this area, but they need stimulation and funding in order to further increase the impact of that. 
so this is, is, is the main main idea. And uh, second uh, uh, important idea behind is that mainly it's uh, simplification of funding is another example because uh, EU speak is not always very appealing to to people uh, practicing in eco villages. And then we have uh, some some more sub themes that that uh, that uh, that uh, further um, um, should under uh, should should uh, support these 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 uh, core themes: supporting social economic entrepreneurship, opening leader initiatives, uh, opening up leader for eco initiatives, and so on. Subsidize alternative local and regional food chains, and so on. And then we have, in the end, we have listed uh, the potential addresses uh, that these should be addressed to, like the, the usual suspects: Commission's DG Agri uh, and Rural Development, DG Regio, and so on and so on. But also we have listed the Council of Baltic Sea States, and I think we also need then at some point your support here. So um, then I, I mentioned that the national, uh, the national, uh, um, or the the, the 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 step when we identified the core common themes, and they will be also listed in the policy documents. Again, uh, according to the logic of of what Jakob presented, the six core core common themes. So where we have uh, where we have. Uh, Examples from each country. So this is again the, the, the relates to, to, to the previous slide public funding and support and here we can find What was seen as most important by partner countries like in Finland basic income guarantee in Lithuania We have more funding for alternative sustainable agriculture and so on and this will be then also uh, uh, part of this of this document So in the end then um, the content of the final document, as I said, this will pretty much follow the presentation that that, uh, that we gave here. So, introduction of how policy recommendations, what what uh, what what is the nature of policy recommendations, what's the basic idea behind them, uh, the process of distinguishing between EU level and national level recommendations, then the process of joint identif and identification of these, because it's important that to to show that this is uh, this is not based on on the minds of two or three researchers in the project, but this is kind of deliberation, democratic process between all the people involved in the. In, 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 in defining these, these policy recommendations. Uh, joint identification of EU-level recommendations, then the policy recommendations as such, as we just presented two examples of them. And then we have the policy uh, country-specific recommendations, uh, as uh, the previous slide indicated. And then in the end, we will also not forget uh, your, your work that you have done in the national networks, uh, i.e. the documents that, that you have produced after the national network meetings in 2012, they'll be also listed in the appendix of this document as country-specific recommendations. And I think I look into many tired uh, faces and I think we should move on to have a good cup of coffee or tea or whatever. Thank you very much.